what's going on guys welcome back to tactical talks first off i want to apologize i know i didn't put a video out yesterday which is normally when i put my videos out on friday i had so much stuff going on with the holidays with work not to mention that the part that i was waiting for a quick little ten dollar part that i was waiting for to make this video didn't come in because of the holidays and the mail and all that kind of stuff so it did get postponed today but really quick this is going to be a short video of a quick solution that I found for myself and maybe something that you know that you guys may want to look into whether or not you're law enforcement so for those of you who don't know anything about Safari Land that's the kind of holster that I run on my duty belt for work and I also run what's called the QLS um, it's like a quick release system anyways for one this video isn't sponsored by them by any means it's just something that I like on my belt something that I use Pretty much what it does is this is my duty belt with my pistol in it i'm not going to worry about taking the pistol out the pistol is loaded but what i am going to show you guys is, is if you pinch this little deal down here i can pull the entire holster off of my belt instead of just pulling just the gun out now i just like that i thought that was a cool feature for a bunch of different reasons but what this is in this package is another attachment that looks just like this now the cool thing about these things is that you can attach this to another belt to another rig you can have this set up in so many different areas um, you can put this in your vehicle in your house and then all you have to do is just get this clip it into there and your pistol is in a holster ready to go at all times so you don't have to worry about buying multiple holsters to move your gun around and do all these things you buy that attachment you have this piece over here and you can move your gun with you anywhere you go. So for me, I just thought that was a really cool deal. Now, something that a lot of people don't think about, and this is something that's not really talked about a lot, but when you're an officer and you have to go to the restroom in a place other than your home, which ends up happening, unfortunately, I don't like taking my duty belt off. For one, I'm not going to put it on the floor. The other thing is trying to find somewhere to put your belt with your gun and I want to have my gun next to me so I can remove my gun from this and I can keep my gun right here with me in a holster nice and safe. I don't have to worry about an accidental discharge or anything. My gun stays with me in its holster and I can put all my other gear down to do what I have to do. And when it's time to go, put my belt back on, clip this entire setup back and I'm ready to go again. But that's just kind of my little spiel. Something that I've thought is a huge, huge benefit that I didn't necessarily think about before buying this, but that alone that convenience alone you know this this thing is paid for itself what i'm going to be doing is so i have different guns in my house i have kids that come in and out of my house that we watch and babysit and hang out with and family that comes into town i don't like having loaded guns sitting out so when people come over i put all my guns up i make sure everything's locked up locked away where the kids can't get to it well i end up having a duty belt that i have to take a gun off Put it up somewhere to make sure they can't get it and then i also have my bedside gun i'm over here dropping stuff then i also have my bedside gun that i just always have now i don't like having a gun sitting out on top of my nightstand and i'm not a huge huge fan or at least i haven't found anything that i'm comfortable with of having my gun locked up in case of an emergency then i gotta find a way to unlock this i'm half asleep trying to pull my gun out so i'm trying to find a better solution and i think i have found that better solution so today's going to be kind of a DIY. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to show you guys how to build what I'm building. It's going to take me all of maybe five minutes. It's going to be very, just very simple. You guys are going to look at it and be like, I know exactly what you did. I know exactly how you did that. So this isn't a how to build this. This is just a what I built, showing you my setup and why I did this. And then we'll discuss it from there. So really quick, all we're going to need for this little project, I had this scrap piece of wood. I think it's like a one by two. It's maybe, what, three feet or so long. This little QLS system, I'm gonna end up cutting a piece of this off and then I'm just gonna use a couple screws and then, you know, our setup is gonna be complete. So give me one second, let me go knock that out real quick and then I'll show you what we got. All right guys, so that took me all of about, honestly, like four minutes because I already had everything I needed. I cut off the end of this, still have the same piece of wood I made a little elbow piece, put a little bit of wood glue, put some screws up to the top to keep that little L. 
Then the QLS system, I found three little screws that I had and I screwed it on to that there. So that's what that looks like. So now I'll be able to attach straight into this and it'll sit like that. So now we're gonna go place this where I want this to show y'all what we got going on. All right, so this is the side of my bed. So it, it doesn't stick out too much. I could probably paint that wood brown or black or something that's gonna blend in a little bit better. But that's it right there. So then what happens is that now attaches to the side of my bed and I paid all of about $10. I don't have to worry about taking my pistol out of the holster, none of that stuff, straight off of my belt and into the, the side of the bed there. So I wanna show y'all something here in a second. All right, now I know you guys can't see me very well. I am laying here on top of my bed. But in a critical situation, I can reach down, flip that over while I'm sleeping and come up and out with my pistol ready to go. So that kind of keeps me, it keeps me using the same exact holster that I use on duty. The more I use this, the better I'm going to be with it. So it's just practice over and over, no matter where I'm at. And the other thing I can kind of be kind of ease my mind is having this here level two the children that are in my house are less likely to come over here and accidentally grab this accidentally pick it up and have any kind of accidental discharge so for ten dollars i continue to practice my drawing from my duty pistol i have another safe secure place to store a pistol in the house in plain sight out of the reach of kids and it's just quick, easy, and convenient, ready to go. All right, guys, I know that video was fairly quick, fairly easy, something very simple that maybe a lot of you has, have already even thought of, just haven't done it yet or just haven't figured out how you want to do it. So hopefully this will help you guys out. Again, I want to thank you guys for watching my videos. Sorry that this video was late. We're almost at 500 subscribers. We're really close. And I still have not even done my 250 subscriber giveaway. I'm slacking. But what I want you guys to do is comment down below on this video if you guys are interested in a giveaway and my plan is we're going to give away some ar-15 mags i have three shirts on my website on the teespring uh, merch shop right now so you guys are going to get your choice of which shirt you want and i'm going to mail you out one of those shirts and then i may end up throwing a couple of goodies with that i was going to do a 500 subscriber giveaway but i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to hold out till we hit a thousand and then i'm going to do a really big giveaway at that point to thank you guys for watching my channel. So again, comment down below. Let me know if you want something. Like this video, subscribe if you're not subscribed. I also want you guys to check out, check uh, the description down below. So it's gonna have the link to Teespring to show you my shirts if you guys wanna buy some of my merch. All that does is just help support this channel so that I can keep bringing you guys good content. Also check the two links below that because I just recently started my own personal podcast. Now. That's going to be a little bit more raw and uncut. Some of the things that I thought maybe weren't suitable for YouTube or just didn't really have a place on this channel. But all it is is going to be spreading positivity. And hopefully I'm going to have some people on there talking about different things that they've gone through in their life. Kind of their journey to get them where they are now. So I also have another podcast that's hopefully going to be coming soon with me and some buddies. If you guys watch our group discussion on the tech vest. The two guys that are in that video, we're going to start a podcast. We're trying to get all the kinks worked out. And I also want you guys to go do me a favor. If you want to be entered in this uh, giveaway for the 250 subscriber giveaway, like I said, AR-15 mags, some shirts, more than likely a flashlight, other uh, little things that I'm throwing there, click on the last link in this description and go check out my buddy Frank's K9 page. He runs the YouTube page or the YouTube channel for our police department for the K9 division. And I think he's less than 100 away from reaching 1,000 subscribers. So let's get him to 1,000. Go over there. Show me that you guys uh, subscribe to that channel. Comment down below on this one. Next Friday, whenever we do our tactical talks, more than likely I'm going to be doing a live video. I'll be doing a live tactical talks review on something. So you guys will get to see all my bloopers, mistakes, all that kind of stuff. And then at that point, I'll announce who won our 250 subscriber giveaway. So again, thank you guys very much for checking this out and I'll see you on the next one.